So what's going on, my fellow DJs? This is DJ730. I hope you're having a great time. I am here with a tutorial to let you know about exporting your music to an external hard drive, um, an SSD hard drive. Uh, what I did, as you can see here, is the G drive. I exported it on my playlist, or at least the ones I'm going to DJ with. So let me show you. So when you go to sync, right, it shows up and the drive shows. Now, for you to be able to do this, you have to um, format it. So you have to format the hard drive into a FAT32. So this is going to, you're going to go and look at your, let me see the G drives. Here it is. So when I right click, I go to I go to format, right? And then you can see that there is different types of fat. So here it only gives me EX fat and NTFS fat right now. Um, but I formatted it into FAT32. Um, and I used a software. So where is my software? Let me show you. This is a software I use. They got a free version. I had purchased this software because I messed something up with my computer and I needed to use a full version. But you can use a free version. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. So this is the software. So this is the name, Mini Tool Partition Wizard. All right. So let it open up. Take some time. I don't know if it's because I'm recording the screen. Yes, open up. There it goes. Okay, has been launched. Okay. So you see this partition manager. Um, I select the drive, so let's say my G drive, you see FAT32, that's how I formatted it, and then um, I extended it to the whole drive, so I have a, a 5 gigabyte hard drive um, that I'm using, and I didn't use a USB stick, I was going to use that, but I have a I have one that is 128 gigabytes USB stick, but it was too slow. So an external hard drive, uh, NVMe.2, which let me show you what it is. All right, so it's this right here. I purchased this from Samsung. I formatted it into a 32, uh, fat, into FAT32, sorry. And I formatted it into FAT32. And then I also, you have to buy a case for it. So I bought this case for it. All right. And I purchased it in B&H, which they have at the store. So I purchased these two stuff. I formatted it and it works. I have another computer tower, which I tested it because I have record box there. So I wanted to know if it was going to show up or not, you know, and it did. No problem. I could play the song. So as you can see, this is from the G drive and I could actually drop the songs and I'll read it. So there's no problem. So it'll, I don't want to play the whole thing cause you know, copyright stuff, but, um, it works. Uh, this is my, uh, Spanish, New Year Spanish thing. Um, my English, so I drop it, press it. So as you can see, it works. This is directly from the G drive. Now, once you transfer your music into the drive, right? This is what you have to understand. When you're using your computer and you connect the drive back again, it automatically syncs. So it, it'll look at the playlist that you have 
And it'll, if you know, if you change the original playlist, which is the one I use, I use iTunes, this is my original playlist, it'll resync it and then it'll tell you if you remove stuff or change stuff around and it'll, it'll let you know. So that's pretty cool. Um, and if you get rid of playlist, then it'll just remove it, which is pretty cool. Um, I got this because my I have a friend that uses Rekordbox also. So sometimes I want to DJ, but I don't want to deal with his playlist and his music because he's totally organized differently from, from how I am. I'm organized a certain way. I have everything in the playlist. It, it, he doesn't. He has some of the stuff in his playlist. Some of the stuff is not. And some of the stuff he has it like somewhere. I have like, if you look at my playlist, and let's go to club music, and I open up. So no matter what I open up. So there go merengue. So you can see I got like 70s, but I got it divided. And usually like 2018 down here. But everything is like on a playlist. So... You know, when you open up, you see that I have the clean, the dirty, uh, the English. This is English, English. I extend it. I have ex extended dirty. Extended. You know, I have everything separated, everything organized. So, uh, reggaeton. So, you see, you got 2014, 2018. And then, I have. Also, I have what? Reggaeton, I have Dembon, Reggaeton, Reggaeton, Bilingual class. Dembon, I have also, if you go here, so you see I have like dates. I got 20, to the 2019, 2018, 2022. So I have it separate so I could actually go and say, I want the new stuff. I'll just play from here. So everything is organized a certain way. My friend doesn't have it that way. So it's very hard when I play with his song, with his playlist and stuff. So I could find the next song that I wanted to play because I already know how I organize my stuff. He does it differently. Only he, has, he only has playlists. So I got to be looking at, like, at everything at one time. So, like I said, for me, I just need now to just bring my, my external hard drive, plug it into this computer, and it will show up. It will show up like it shows up here, and I could just click into it and start playing. You know, I could just start playing songs from my own playlist. So, it's great. I don't got to deal with his music. I could just take over, and um, when I... When he's gonna take over, that I want to continue, or I just want to stop, and I want to just, I just eject it. Boop. It'll eject it. All right, I don't even know what's, what's using it. Which, I don't know what it is. And there's something else. Who knows? I got something open out there. That is looking at the music almost while we might drive. Yeah. So click out of there. Let's see if it closes now. No. It's always some something crazy. No, well, I got a lot of stuff connected. But like I said, it doesn't matter. I'm closing the program. Let me close this. So as you can see, that's what you need to do. Uh, like I said, the software, this one is free. You get the free version. You can format your drive. And you have, that's an M.2, MVME M.2, which is very fast. So if you want to transfer your whole playlist. And also remember that your playlist cannot be over a thousand songs it has to be under a thousand songs so if you have one playlist like i have like another one that has like a thousand and seven songs in it i have to um move stuff around um 
yeah, why I have so much songs on just one playlist is just that I'm in a record pool and I have collected from the record pool a lot of music and I have to go through it and clean some of the stuff out. So uh, that's all I want to let you know. Hopefully, if you have another friend that has a record box and you don't want to be bringing your computer along all the time, this is a way that you could do go about it and um, just DJ with your friend. One computer, that's it. You don't need to bring yours along. So this is DJ730 signing out. Hope it helps you out. Uh, become a member or give a like if you like. And I will see you later.